Hi everyone, this is a short video to show you more about the animation of the ways in the library, which I hope will help you to understand the different object types, their movement, their purpose, in order to get the best visual effect out of it. So the first type of object is a shore foam animation, made of small waves right on top of the shoreline, making the shore look more realistic and less geometric. These are actually made of flat layers of foam, coming in a relatively fast and random movement. And here in the background you can see the second category of waves, which are larger waves of roughly 200 meters wide. They are actually 3D objects, with around 1 meter high. So they rise and they dive back in a course of around 100 meters, but the foam they have created goes further and keeps going for a while before disappearing. These waves come in several versions, one at medium and one at high speed. High speed means actually around 10 meters per second, which is quite fast for a wave, but gives a more visible agitated sea effect when you watch them from very far away, for example from an airliner on approach. Objects of that type come in set of two waves with delayed animation, and some others with three, actually simulating the constant flow and the regularity of the waves with a choice of two different frequencies, depending on your personal preference or judgment on how the ocean looks like in the location of the scenery you make. Some of them are also curved to add a little bit of variety. I also made a larger 500 meter set of waves, which in fact is just a reunion of two sets combined together, but it makes it easier for those of you who would like to cover very large coastal areas in their project. There is also this thin object type in the shore waves category, which is thinner and larger than the others. It's actually one kilometer wide. It's not a very impressive object in itself compared to the others, but it's more simple in terms of animation. But its purpose is to give a nice rendering effect of a wide coastal line from the long distance, as you can see here. And it also comes in two different frequencies. Regarding the watercolor, since waves are transparent objects, they blend properly with the water underneath. So if you have placed some colored draped polygons or autophotos on top of the water in your scenery, for example to simulate a turquoise tropical water look, the waves will work pretty well over it. Another important fact is the waves do not physically interact with the aircraft. Actually, there might be some exception in the future. So in principle, the wave can come over the aircraft and flood it. In reality, it would completely ruin the machine, but here, at least you get the visual warning not to land too close to the shore. Here you can see an example of the visual effect on a helicopter on floats. The wave comes over it, but it doesn't stop anything. So you can still land your seaplanes anywhere you want, even in the waves. Here is the third type of object, which is actually the most interesting given its effect over wide areas. These are the open waterways. This one can be placed on very large areas around your scenery and it gives a nice impression of ocean water with smaller waves or foam effect created by the sea breeze over it. These waves are roughly 50 meters wide with a multiple animation that the shore waves and they come either as individual small objects, one small wave actually, for example if you want to place them with precision around rocks or coral reef, or in a group of several individual waves, which I call a field of waves in the library, which is much faster to use over large areas when you place them in overlay editor. Each field has a surface of around one square kilometer, so it's more convenient over large areas. You can even place fields on top of each other, it will give the impression of a very agitated sea. I also include a type of field that comes in a two-wave set instead of single wave, as you can see here in the distance, which gives an even more agitated effect. And now the fun thing about this type of waves is that you actually have the choice of either using them as fixed objects, for example not far from the shore where you prefer the waves to be always pointing in the same direction, or as a wind sensitive wave, because some of them actually follow the direction of the wind. And same as the others, they come either as individual objects or in field. It's quite useful, for example, when you fly a seaplane, you want to land on water and you don't know the direction of the wind, now the waves will help you for this. So that's it for now. Once you have tried these objects, you'll probably need some time to tweak the object position in the overlay editor in order to fit perfectly to the scenery you make. So I hope you like these projects, and I hope many of you, scenery developers, will use animated waves in the future to give a much more realistic look to the ocean shores and open seawater and explain. So stay tuned, and uh, there is more to come.